Good morning, Year One. Today, we're moving a bit further on into multiplication, and we're going to be focusing on groups that are already equal and how we can count those quickly. But before we do that, we've got a recap from a couple of weeks ago where we're looking at finding what 10 more and 10 less of a given number. OK, so when you're ready, I'm going to put up a number square to help you and then we'll get Okay, so let's quickly recap. If we know that the first number is 12, then if we're going to do 10 less, we look up because 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 less. And if we wanted to do 10 more, we'd identify 22 because we know that 22 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine ten more okay so that's be your first one two and twenty two have a go now at working out all the rest okay welcome back so let's quickly go through the answers so ten less is ten less is seven ten more is twenty seven ten less is eighteen ten more is thirty eight 10 less is 0. That's quite tricky because we actually go off the sheet there. But 10 more is quite easy. It's 20. 20 is going to be 10 and 30. 25 is going to be 15 and 35. 29 is going to be 19 and 39. 39 is going to be 29 and 49. Then we've got 75, so that's 85 is more. 65 is less. 59, 49 and 69 and then the last one 99 is 89 and this is where it gets tricky we would count on 100 101 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 so that's where it is it's 10 more below and there you go that's our starter Okay, now we're on to the main part of today's learning, and this is in several steps. So start off with, tell your grown-up, are these cans set up in equal groups? And then decide, if they are, what would be the best way to count them in? What could we count the cans in? So first thing I think you'd agree is they are neatly arranged in groups of five. Now that could help us think about how we could count. Because if they're in groups of five, we could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well that takes ages. We could count them in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, and you might want to use a number square to help with that. But they are actually neatly set up in groups of five, so shall we count them on in fives? Five, 10, 15, 20, which is definitely the quickest way we could do it. So we would count them in groups of fives. Okay, so how do we turn that into something approaching a sum? Right, well, there are how many groups? Let's circle them one group two groups three groups four groups so there are four groups how many are in each five in each group that's right five so we would say there are four groups of five now how do we solve that what we would do it is we've got one five that's one group plus another five so effectively five plus five plus five plus five which we could write down here then 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 5 is 20. Sorry, jumping around a bit. And that would be how we could solve that. And again, you could count on using the number square if you prefer to. Here's the second problem. It's a little bit further on. How many equal groups are there? So, there's one equal group there, two equal groups there, three equal groups there. So we're going to say there are three groups. How many strawberries in each group? That's quite easy. How many are on the plate? One, two, three, four. 
just check one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But if they're equal groups, it's always going to be the same. So then we've got three groups of four. And from there, you could do this as well. We could calculate four, which is that, four, four. So four plus four plus four. So four plus four is eight and eight plus four is 12. Okay. And that is essentially all you're doing today. There are variations But essentially, have a go at making, working out what groups are, how many are in each group, doing the repeated addition and working out the answers. There are situations where you can jump ahead if you want. So putting these into groups of two, work out how many groups, and it, then you're just working out the groups. But this is all the variation I want you to do today. And when you've done that, that's the end of today's maths lesson.